It is great to be here in America. Oh, yeah. The greatest country in the world, if you haven't traveled a lot. Do we have to constantly scream we're number one? It's always the people that live in the most boring parts of this country that scream the loudest. Thank you. Uh, I want to talk to you about a fellow by the name of Noah who uh, built an ark. Now, everybody knows you. They ask you a question, say, what did Noah do? They say, well, he built an ark. But very few people know about the actual conversation that went on between the Lord and Noah. You see, Noah was a carpenter, and he was in his rec room sawing away, making a few things for the home there. <laughs> Congratulations. I, 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 how do you feel? How, what is that like? You know how much I'm getting for this set? I'm doing, I'm getting $503. Barely worth it. And I bumped into a guy in the hallway from the IRS. He can't believe he's here and can't wait to talk to each and every one of you. This is Santa Monica Boulevard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. I did not Leather. No, Alaska was the people were so were so bored over there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just jump and kick a string. <laughs> There's no bone on this. No, he had a what's that with the the the, 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 the seal the bone? Heel, the, I mean the hip from the heel, the seal. Right. Well, who thought that game up? Another drug, another drug they don't tell you it's a drug, it's a class four narcotic, alcohol. And the only warning they have on a bottle of alcohol is don't drink this if you're pregnant. Bullshit, that's how you got pregnant, number one. <laughs> and alcohol is especially dangerous for people like myself, alcoholics. Or you can say ethanol challenge, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> well, people are going to, Robin, how do I know if I'm an alcoholic? Well, as one, let me give you some warning signs. Number one. After a night of heavy drinking, you wake up fully clothed going, Hey! Somebody shit in my pants.
got rich. You know why? I was bused to school when I was kid. Very hard being bused, man. I had to get up every morning at 6 o'clock in the morning to go to school and compete with white kids that didn't have to wake up until 8. <laughs> and that's not fair. You know, say you're a lower mark on the test, they got a teacher going, oh, Chris can't read. I'm like, no, Chris is fucking pie, right? <laughs> about being bus to school. I got bus to school. Like you're supposed to get bus That social pressure. You ever talk to somebody who's fake and they make you fake. Like they come and be like, hey, how you doing? And you're like, fine, how are you? And you're like, I don't even talk like that. I get sick of that shit. I do, it just makes me sick. Sometimes I'll talk crazy just to make my shit about the mafia. Uh, my father was the baddest motherfucker I'd ever seen. So the mafia didn't mean shit to me. I did not relate to the mafia. <laughs> and I worked with this lady, Satin Doll. Getting rid of nervousness, you know? That's the first thing you have to do. Get rid of that nervousness, you know? This can make you nervous, you know? Standing up in front of people, talking, you know? You've had to do it, man. Back there, it's like, you know, Nobody's looking at you, man, even out here. <laughs> then it is my job, you know? Welcome to my job, Nobody goes right to work. 
right? Joey's got a little time, belongs to you. You're...